Hello dear students, in trick number 161 today, I am going to start a series of videos on the very important topic of probability. This important topic of probability starts from class 8th, 9th onwards and continues up to the level through which a child studies mathematics. And in subsequent classes at college level, this topic of probability becomes a subject. So you can realize how important it is to understand basic probability. So when we start understanding something from the base, we need to understand some of the terms associated with this important topic. So today I'm going to tell you six terms which lead to the concept of probability. Basically probability is you know, we need to measure uncertainty. If we all know that life is full of uncertainties and we have to take decisions in conditions which may or may not be favorable to us. So if we have knowledge of probability, that decision making becomes easier. So instead of guessing the outcomes or the probable outcomes which can happen in our life, we can actually be a little bit logical and mathematical in taking a decision. So the first term which I want to tell you is the experiment. Now what is an experiment? All acts are not actually experiments. Like if I tell you that I am trying to select the leaf of a tree, well, the leaf of a tree, which tree, how many trees are there, how many leaves does each tree contain, nothing is certain. So my act of selecting a leaf of a tree is not actually an experiment. An experiment is basically something which have some definite or countable results. Now I'll add one word here. This is probable results. So any act, any trial whose results or the probable results are definite and they can be counted. That act is known as an experiment. Like very simple example of tossing a coin. Say if I toss a coin, the probable results are getting a head or getting a tail. So this is an experiment. Throwing a dice. You all know that dice it contains six faces containing numbers one two three four five six so if i throw a dice that act, act will be known as experiment because all the six probable results are known so these acts wherein the probable results are definite and countable is known as an experiment so entire probability runs around conducting experiments and trying to find out how much certain or uncertain a particular result is. So what are outcomes? The probable results which I am talking about, the probable results related to an experiment are called outcomes. Like I took the example of tossing a coin here. So outcomes are head and tail. Throwing a dice, the outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are the possible outcomes. So all the probable outcomes related to an experiment, they are technically known as outcomes. Now come to the third term, very important term, sample space. Sample space is actually the set of, now set of, 
all possible outcomes all possible outcomes related to an experiment so whenever i conduct an experiment i know what are the probable results if i write them in a set in the curly brackets like tossing a coin i have experiment tossing a coin outcomes h comma t but if you write it as a sample space i have to write it as a set so this h comma t will be written within curly brackets to make it a sample space related to the experiment of tossing a coin similarly throwing a dice 1 2 3 4 5 6 write all the possible outcomes within curly brackets you will get the sample space of throwing a dice so what is the use of sample space this sample space will tell you the total number of outcomes related to an experiment so this total number of outcomes is 2 when we toss a coin is 6 when we throw a dice so this is the third important term now come to another important term event event now in sample space or outcome i have written all probable results all means all prob probable results but in event selected outcomes are written selected outcomes means everything may or may not be there in an event so what is an event event is actually a conditional statement now what is a conditional statement suppose i talk of throwing a dice so when i throw a dice i say i get an odd number now i have put up a condition that the number obtained is odd now all the probable results will not satisfy my event my event says only odd numbers so only 1 3 and 5 will satisfy my event so event contains only selected outcomes so it is a conditional statement a particular condition is imposed on the outcomes resulting that all or some of them may be selected to satisfy the event now come to the favorable outcomes just now i told you if i have an event e getting an odd number related to the experiment obviously of throwing a dice so favorable outcomes are only 1 3 and 5 so the event will tell us actually the number of favorable outcomes so i need to know two things first thing is the total number of outcomes which will be obtained through the sample space and number of favorable outcomes which will be obtained through the events condition so if i know these two things two important things first is the total number of outcomes and second is the number of favorable outcomes favorable to the event then i can calculate the probability of any event now the probability of the event e will be just divide number of favorable outcomes by the total number of outcomes which will give you the probability of the event so this is the formula for finding the probability of an event just divide the number of favorable outcomes by the total number of outcomes we get the probability of the event so here 
in this formula we need to know a lot of things which are helpful in carrying on this topic peacefully smoothly so we can discuss that in part 2 of this video so follow the series of videos of probability i am sure you will be benefited by this in the long run while studying mathematics so keep learning keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it